In this video we will see how to enable a parental control on a Netgear router. In order to do this, first of all we have to check the IP address of your router. So uh, you can do uh, it with the command prompt or if you are not savvy with the command prompt you can just open the network and sharing center and click on change adapter settings. Now you can see here your Wi-Fi adapter just right click on it and go to the status and click on details now you can see here uh, default gateway usually it is like 192.168.1.1 so here we find our uh, default gateway of a router so now we will open it I'll close this okay let's try to open it it's 192.168.1.1 click enter and default password for a Netgear router is admin and default password is password the username is admin and the password is password P -A -S -S -W -O -R -D. and if you have changed that password you have to log in with your password now we are logging into a Netgear router so here you can see the internet connection wireless settings attached device parental control and guest network uh, right now you can see the parental control is not enabled so in order to enable it we have to follow some steps so just click on parental control and it will redirect you to a Netgear website and here you have to download this small piece of software uh, that is a Netgear Genie so if you're using a Mac you can go with the Mac download and if you are using a, a Windows PC you can go with the Windows download I'll click this download it's getting downloaded so let's wait for a while while it's getting downloaded once it is downloaded we will try to install it it's saying 7 seconds 6 seconds ok it's downloaded now so let's open it you can click on yes let me minimize this one now the installation of the Netgear Genie setup will come up you can click on next after agreeing the agreement and the destination folder you can keep it as a default click on next and now it will install the computer by installing Netgear uh, Genie setup and enabling a parental control uh, you can manage your router through the uh, Netgear Genie and uh, the parental control enabling a parental control will stop uh, all the other websites like uh, whatever you like you can stop those websites uh, there are basically uh, in a category like phishing category or like adult sites you can block all those sites so that your kids cannot be on those sites so let's wait for a while once it is installed we will go for the further setups okay it's completed now okay it's a run netgear genie so we'll click click on finish it's opening up okay uh, now the Netgear Genie has been installed and it's open uh, what you can do here you can even control your router things from uh, this uh, panel like a Netgear Genie panel all the stuff you can do here you can also do it from here so let me minimize this one browser so we will go for a parental control so parental control 
parental control identifying your router let's wait a while while it's check for the firmware updates and all those things Uh, now you can see uh, he here I can sign in your, uh, to your open DNS account if you do not have open DNS account it will prompt you to create a new so I have created it so I'll put the password for it next it's signing into parental control now you can see here blocking method like none, minimal, low, moderate, high. If you click on high, it, it will protect you against all adult related site, illegal activity, social networking site, video sharing site, phishing attack and general time wasters. Okay, click on next. live parental control is now enabled okay let's see for uh, some basic you can change your basic settings like uh, username and password Now you can see here it will ask you to set up a live parental control account with an open DNS account. If you have a one you can use it. If you don't have a one you can just click on no I need to create a free open DNS account and click on next. You need to just put the username, password, confirm password, email and email confirmation. Once it is done you can click on next and you will be logged in so in my case I have already created a open DNS account so I'll sign up with this option yes use my existing open DNS account I have already set my username I'll put the password here your login okay I have put it on a high you can put it on a moderate custom low whatever you like the option click on next setup is now complete take me to the status screen now you can see the status live parental control is enabled you can refresh it uh, and if you want to use a bypass login like you want to uh, do it for you you can bypass it you have to create an account for that so let's go to the parental control refresh it click on change custom settings it will ask
ask you your username and password set your time zone here update time zone back to parental control here you can see the filtering level after logging into your open DNS account you can see here you can protect uh, you can see here protect against all adult related site illegal activity you can customize it or you can if you want to view it it will show you what all the category will be blocked adware alcohol chat classified dating drugs file storage gambling games uh, and if you want to customize it you can click on customize and you can check or uncheck whatever you want to uh, allow or you want to not allow on your network if you want like web spam I'll click on web spam and it will not work now save the filtering level you can set it on a moderate low minimal or a custom and if you want uh, nothing to be blocked you can click on none and just click on save filtering level and it will work fine so let's see the changes we made here it will work or not if you can see uh, view it will block these things and again if we click on customize this click on customize okay it says gambling okay let's open www.gambling.com it says this domain is blocked due to content filtering did you see that option so if for an example we see other thing by this way you can check the category and you can check and uncheck all those things all the stuff here and you can click on save it will work fine as we did check with the gambling site and it's working for us now so thank you for watching the video